All right, let's take a look at some of these veins we see in the body. This little model right here doesn't have them all, but it has some. Now, since we're looking at veins and we're following blood back towards the heart, let's start in an upper limb and start in the fingers of the digits. So we're gonna have digital veins, then in the palm of the hand, we're gonna have palmar veins. Then we're gonna have a radial and an ulnar. Remember, radius is always thumb side and ulna is little finger side. So again, that'd be digital, palmar, radial and ulnar. Now we're gonna have a brachial vein right down the center, and we're gonna have a basilic vein, which is medial to the inside, and a cephalic vein, which is lateral to the outside. So that's three across this region. You don't see the brachial, right? They should've had it right here in the center, but basilic and cephalic are shown. Still got an axillary under the arm. It's gonna lead up to a subclavian, to a brachiocephalic vein, to the superior vena cava, right back into the right side of the heart. And what you have on one side would be the same as the other. So let's go over this one more time. Digital palmar, radial and ulnar, ulnar. It'd be a brachial, basilic and cephalic, axillary, subclavian, brachiocephalic to superior vena cava. Wouldn't matter which finger, which upper limb you started in, gonna be the same. We can't see much here as far as the drainage out of the head, neck, and brain. But remember, blood gets out of the brain through two internal jugulars. The right and left are internal jugulars are the biggest outflows from the brain. And then back in the cervical region, there's a right and left vertebral vein. So all four of those are gonna get blood out of the brain. Big outflows there. So if we come down here a little bit lower, say to a lower limb and start down here in the toes. Still got digital in the toes. And starting down here around the ankle, <clears throat> there's five veins that make their way back up. Well, there's still a fibular vein, which would be lateral to the outside. Still two tibial veins, an anterior and posterior tibial veins, medial to the inside. And also on the inside of the lower limb coming up is the great and small saphenous. The great saphenous is the largest blood vessel in the body. This is the longest one you can see right here. That's gonna be it, longest blood vessel you've got. Not largest, but longest. So again, let's start down here again. Digital in the toes. Then we got fibular, the two tibial, anterior and posterior tibial veins. Great and small saphenous veins. Still got popliteal behind the knee. Still got a femoral vein. Leads up to an external iliac vein, to a common iliac vein, to the inferior vena cava, right back to the right side of the heart. Here's the kidneys. Looks like we can see the renal arteries, but of course they'd have renal veins too. Here's the spleen, to be a splenic vein out of it. And the liver is an unusual one when it comes to veins. The hepatic vein drains out of it, but there's also an hepatic portal vein that drains into it, very unusual. And of course we can see in red the pulmonary veins coming back out of the lungs. So this model just has some of those major veins you can see around the body. Hope that helps.